The Honourable Member from Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to quote one of the world's most credible news organizations on financial and economic matters. The Financial Times of London, May 10th, 2024. The headline, Breakdown Nations Like Canada Have a Lesson for the World. Canada leads nations which have suffered a sharp decline in per capita GDP. Simple question. Does the government agree that Canada leads nations that have suffered a sharp decline in per capita GDP? Wow. Yeah. 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 The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. What the government agrees with is that Canada was the first G7 country to lower interest rates for the first time. Canada was the first G7 country to lower interest rates for a second time, and Canada was the first G7 country to lower interest rates for a third time. The government also knows that wages in Canada have outpaced inflation for 19 months in a row. And meanwhile, inflation, 2% in August, has been within the Bank of Canada's target range. Again, I'm going to invite members, please, not to take the floor unless they're being invited to by the chair. The Honourable Member from Halton Hills, Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, the Bank of Canada has become the first central bank to cut rates because Canada has become the first leading economy to go through an economic contraction. Again, the Financial Times, for which the finance minister once worked, it said, quote, Canada's per capita gross domestic product has been shrinking 0.4% a year since 2020, the worst rate for any developed economy in the top 50. Does the government agree? that Canada's per capita GDP is shrinking at the worst rate of any of the top 50 economies. Yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, our government knows that what matters to Canadians is inflation. And that is why it is so important that inflation was 2% in August and that it has been within the Bank of Canada's target range all of this year. And it is because of that progress that interest rates in Canada have come down three times. That is real relief to homeowners, that is real relief to businesses, that is real relief to anyone who wants to buy a home. But all the, Canadi all the Conservatives know how to do is talk Canada down. That's right.